Hey all, today we are going to discuss about necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis which is also known as Vincent infection, trench mouth, acute ulceromembranous gingivitis, fusospirochetal gingivitis and acute ulcerative gingivitis, right? So it is known by different names. It is basically a specific type of gingivitis in which inflammatory conditions um, involves free gingival margin, crest of gingiva or interdental papilla, right? As it is a disease of gingiva. On rare occasions, the lesion spread to the soft palate and tonsillar areas. That's why it is known as Vincent angina or Vincent infection. The diagnostic triad for necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis is the patient will be suffering from pain, the interdental ulceration will be there because the necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis that is NUG starts from interdental papilla so interdental ulceration should be there right and gingival bleeding this is basically the diagnostic triad for necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis it occurs in epidemic pattern right so basically the people who are living under similar conditions will be prevalent um, for this disease that is NUG, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis in World War I. In World War I, all the allied uh, troops or the soldiers who were under the same conditions, similar conditions, living under similar conditions were prevalent uh, for getting uh, this uh, disease that is uh, prevalent among the troops in trenches. That's why the disease is also known as trench mouth. Now the etiology. It is basically endogenous and it is a polymicrobial infection as it is caused by different microorganisms such as number one fuso, fusiform bacillus Borrelia vincenti and Bacteroids melanogenicus, right? Fusiform bacillus is basically elongated, elongated rod with tapered ends. It measures up to 5 to 14 microns in length, right? It is non-motile and basically weakly gram positive it is very weakly gram positive now the next one which is borrelia vincenti it is a gram negative spirochete it may also occur due to bacteroids melanogenicus right Now the predisposing factors or the risk factors for necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis are psychological stress, immunosuppressions such as in HIV positive patients, smoking, upper respiratory tract infection, local trauma, poor nutritional status such as uh, vitamin C and vitamin uh, B deficiency may also lead to uh, NUG, right? Poor oral hygiene. Now the clinical features of ANUG. Uh, basically, it is painful, hyperemic, gingiva and sharply punched out crater-like erosions of interdental papilla is seen and it is of sudden onset. Acute. That's why NUG is sometimes known as acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. The term acute is used because it is of sudden onset. It involves firstly the interdental papilla. Now the patient will suffer from bleeding on touching the gingiva, right? The grayish green necrotic 
pseudo membrane will be present on that ulcer that affected area basically this ulceration tends to spread it will spread around all the gingiva right this is the interdental papilla and it will spread out the patient will suffer from fetid odor inability to eat basically due to bleeding and and pain in gingiva so patient will be unable to eat headache malaise low grade fever will be there as it is a infection right excessive salivation will be there regional lymphadenopathy all the lymph nodes will be inflamed regional uh, lymphadenopathy will be there generalized or systemic manifestations will be there such as leukocytosis right gastrointestinal disturbances gastrointestinal disturbances now the incubation zone whenever the gingiva gets involved basically the interdental papilla is involved it causes necrosis of the tissue basically that ulcer will cause hollowing out of the space so there will be hollowing out of that area which will retain that space will retain the debris and microorganism and microorganisms basically so this area is known as incubation zone right this zone is more prevalent in third molars third molars basically the erupting third molars and the microorganisms persist in these areas that's why the name incubation zone is seen in the anug right histological features now the gingiva is basically necrosed so the surface epithelium will be ulcerated and will be replaced by thick fibrinous exudate or pseudo membrane right so it is uh, histological histologically seen polymorphous uh, nuclear leukocytes are seen as we know that leukocytosis will occur right so polymorphous nuclear leukocytes will be seen in histolog histological features and microorganisms will be seen basically lack of keratinization of the gingiva so gingival tissues will lack keratinization now the treatment part uh treatment part includes that something like a conservative treatment such as conservative treatment is like chlorhexidine mouthwash rinses or dilute hydrogen peroxide rinses warm saline rinses at acute stages in initial stages will help in getting treated this disease right topical anesthetics for uh, relieving pain pain relievers basically antibiotics plus local treatment is also beneficial as it is a bacterial polymicrobial infection so so antibiotics should also be given recontouring of the gingival papilla is required as the gingiva is necrosed so shaping the gingiva is required gingivoplasty can be done now the serious sequelae of uh, anug or nug is like firstly gangrenous stomatitis or noma septicemia toxemia or even death may occur right 
थैंक यू